souls and welcome to the Kylie Clementine show. So I wanted to explain, describe, talk about what inner loving presences are and how they can help us. So they are either the soul version, the soul of the biological person or their higher self, if you like, if that's your preferred term or they are the universal energy of that archetype so for example in a loving mother is either the soul of my biological mother or she is the universal divine mother energy the sacred feminine, divine feminine energy, Gaia, like goddess Gaia, mother earth. You might um, connect deeply with Mary Magdalene or mother Mary. It's a feminine energy possessing those beautiful feminine qualities like unconditional love, nurturing, compassionate, and wildly protective as well. So how can they help us? They offer us reparative phrases. They give us all the love and support, protection, encouragement, celebration, access or support and belief in us accessing the resources that we need or needed at the time that the pain occurred. They are also a moral compass and a barometer for our soul when we are connecting in with our yeses or our noes. So, all of this that I'm sharing is based on the Marian method, which is the foundation to her psychospiritual mentoring. The Marian method as in Marian Rose. So Marian talks about our slug wisdom. And when we have that sense in our bodies of knowing when we're like moving forward in a curious, excited, confident, explorative way, that is our body wisdom, like the slug does. And it's got, I'm not sure, these their eyes or their antennae. The kids and I were, not, were talking about this the other day. There's little feelers out and it's cruising along. It's got a yes. So it's like that. In our bodies, we feel a yes to something. Or it is retracting and it is retracting in to its shell because it's got a no. Its body wisdom is saying no. We have the same. We have the same intelligence within us. So our inner loving presences are also a barometer for our soul when it is connecting to our yeses or our noes. And for example, I had a really big experience a little while ago with a key person in my life from my childhood. And after lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of deep diving and really going in and recognizing, identifying the pain, facing it, feeling it, processing, and realizing what was going on in some ways within that relationship, I had no's to some behaviors. And as Marion often says as well, we say yes to the feelings and no to the behavior. In this particular case, I was saying no to both. And 
that's the beauty of us being connected to our yeses and noes. So even though my sole work is supporting others to connect with their feelings and for me to witness and see them and offer them so much love and validation in relation to what they're experiencing and feeling, it's not our job to do that for others when we don't want to. We are allowed to have a no for that as well. So we can be willing to do that with people that we feel aligned with and where it's helpful and supportive and we can have a no to that when it's not because we can't help everybody. That's not our job is not to be everybody's support person, even if that's our soul calling and our life's work. <laughs> and saying no to that can be really healing and powerful for both parties as well. So when I was saying no to the feelings and the behavior in this scenario, it wasn't accepted very well or at all, if you like. However, I maintained my connection to my no. At times though, there was some wobbliness and some wavering and some doubt. And then afterwards, there was a little bit more of that and it was a bit more intense as though, oh no, have I done something wrong? I, I've hurt them, I've upset them. We don't hurt or upset other people. Other people don't hurt or upset me. And I automatically had come in and in a loving presence. And what I heard was how my no was so welcome, so valued, and how much they deeply honored my no. So our inner loving presences can be incredibly powerful in those circumstances as well. Now, in this experience, it took me 48 hours until I could connect with um, my mentor and get the love and support that I needed to unpack it all and go through it in that way with her. That's a long time in a really big, emotionally charged, painful, turbulent experience. My inner loving presences reconnected me to myself and assured me that it is important for me to stay connected to my yeses and my noes and that they're totally worthy and so valid and need to be acknowledged and accepted and honored. So they're also the barometer for our soul with our yeses and our noes. Now yeses and noes and slug wisdom comes in a lot in the will module and the will work and the willingness work and the willingness practice and our willingness walls. It's all really beautifully intertwined. It's absolutely genius the way Marion has designed this. There's, in my experience, no gaps. <laughs> So that is giving you what I hope is an introduction to what inner loving presences are and how they can help and support us. They're non-physical. We access them through that imaginative ability within our mind. We sense them in that way. It's like an imaginary friend or when you're meditating and you connect in and it's there's you might sense a particular energy or being, it's like that. And they're only there for us and they're only there to support us and they're only there to help us in getting what it is that we want. And they only say exactly what it is that we want or need to hear. And that's where Marion's 
method Marion's Marion Method Mentors or Psycho Spiritual Mentors. So it's the same thing. It's all based on the Marion Method. Come into it because it can be really beneficial to work with someone externally supporting you through establishing those connections or deepening those connections and strengthening them with your inner loving presences to get to that stage where they are so much more instant and automatic when you need them. They're also brilliant at supporting us with shame and guilt generated emotions. So when we pick up those shame sticks, they are super supportive in telling us all the things that we need to hear. Never done anything wrong and there is nothing wrong with you. So they are disconnected domination culture, intentionally designed, thought generated feelings. And our inner loving presences can offer us the most reassuring, nurturing support when it comes to changing that inner dialogue because it's all thought based. What we are hearing was said to us at some stage earlier in our lives or we witnessed it somewhere and picked it up and internalized that for ourselves. And we can stop those thoughts and that inner dialogue and speaking to ourselves in those ways. And our inner loving presences are such a big, beautiful key part in my experience of shifting and changing that to just the most gorgeous, nurturing, loving, compassionate, empathetic, celebrating, encouraging voice instead. I hope this has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the best ways to find me are Instagram, Kylie Clementine, or Facebook, Kylie Clementine messages. I'd love to hear from you. I would love to hear if this has been beneficial. If you'd like to work more closely with me with some one-on-one -on -one sessions, let me know as well. And I can tell you about my current pricing and offerings and availability. So much love to you.